Let's go over to our man, Mr. Tim Wood, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can get hold of Tim every trading day at Ord, O R D Oracle.com. That's Ord Oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? All right, I sent some charts over. Uh, uh, we can start right off the charts if you want. Yeah, absolutely. And no matter what market we're talking about, Tim, these bulls and bears that seem to be fighting like crazy, where it's kind of sloppy, like you've been saying for a while, but what a trip, right? So the first yeah. one the first one I have is the GDX, is that correct? Yeah, well, actually, we can uh, skip, uh, if you want to uh, look at the, let's look at the S&Ps a little bit. Okay, um, which, which one was so that? Chart four. Uh, the chart starts at chart four. Okay, cool. And because um, you're talking about that, and here's what I'm looking at. Um, you got chart four there? Uh, yeah, with the trend? Yeah, it's a trend. Yes. So yeah. this, this kind of looks at the bigger picture, and really has been over the years, it's been pretty accurate. But anyhow, the bottom window is a 10 day trend. Yep. And uh, the. the um, Oh, pink up and down areas is when the trend gets above 1.2. So okay. you really, uh, on a 10-day trend, anything above 1.2, chances are you're going into a bottom. And the more you get of them, the more significant that bottom is. And if you look over the last, so this chart goes back a couple of years, almost two years, and I've uh, highlighted that area, which is uh, between 365 to 390, that's a massive support area because that's where the 10-day uh, trend was up around at least 1.2 and higher. So the build-up base went sideways for about a year. Then we rallied out of that uh, um, area going into uh, the current time frame. And what I really want to point out here, if you go to the bottom window again, yes. you need really uh, to say when you get up to 1.2 is really you're building a base because right. that's when – markets uh, panic. When markets panic, you're building a base. If you don't have panic, you don't have a base. And usually anything uh, around 1.9 and lower is usually a kind of a bearish sign for the market. And I got that noted with uh, the kind of green area uh, across the chart there. And a lot of times it came to the highs. The last time we got there was, was in June. And we're 0.95 right now. We're awful close to that area. So we're not Seeing a panic in this sideways move, uh, we, we almost got uh, like euphoria, I guess. Yeah, at a 1.9, you certainly not, do, man. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Kind of, kind of euphoria. Everybody's there's no worry in the market right here. Yeah, and so um, until we do get worry, and the trend is to get up to 1.2. You don't have a worthwhile bottom, so I'm thinking this at least sideways. By the, I think the upside at the moment is done, and it won't get a bottom until we start seeing the trend. The 10-day trend gets up around 1.2, and I think that's probably going to happen in October. It's not happening in September yet, and it may, um, you know, when these things, uh, to get that trend going to 1.2, you actually uh, need a decline. Yes. So... Um, I don't know how the next decline is going to be, but I don't see any worthwhile bottom for me here. And there's still a possibility we may get down to uh, to uh, 420, which is basically the previous highs. Uh, and we broke out of that high area with a sign of strength. And so I think we could pull back to 420, which is a long ways down from here. I don't know if we'll make it. But no, I, I can see that because is, you'll see a trend of a 1.2 or higher. Right. Uh, and so. We haven't we haven't got that yet. No, I so, can definitely see yeah. that because I mean you were getting you know the the trend readings that you needed at four thirty three. I mean that wasn't even a big retracement. People were basically you know saying, hey man, you know I'm getting out of here. So four twenty is a yeah. whole different ball game, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, four twenty. So that's pretty important. So let's look at the five real quick. Okay. This is just a short term picture, and. Um, um, you got it up there? Yes, I do. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, last Yesterday, we had a little gap on September 6th. I got that pointed out in red. Yep. Gap test on lighter volumes bearish. Well, we hit it yesterday. And uh, and so I thought, okay, that we couldn't get through the gap. So most likely we'll go down. If you can't take out the previous high, which gap is considered like a previous high, gaps are yep. resistance. If you can't take out the previous high, you'll try to take out the previous low. Well, the previous low is the last week's low. And so I'm thinking we're going to go back there. And if you're looking at the trend today, you know, we're not doing much. So 
So I don't know. Uh, and this is expiration week, which normally leans bullish. So I don't know what uh, what's going to happen. Maybe we go back to the bottom of the trading range, which is the August lows. That's a possibility. Um, it's kind of hard to say here. You know, I'm afraid to bet on either side here going no, long I, or I, short. I can see that. Uh, it's than, almost like... You know, we're still in summer trading. It's a sloppy, you know, you don't have buyers and or sellers. You know what I mean? Every time we go up, the volume drops off. We go down, the volume drops off. The volume's going to be anemic today on the way down. It's unbelievable, well, actually. Well, actually, uh, I'm watching volume today. I want volume to be higher than yesterday. No, I know that, but it's not going to be. Yeah, so, so you can keep going down at least. Right. But volume, I know. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty pathetic. I think we will probably break yesterday's volume. So we're testing yesterday's low and higher volume. So we'll probably go a little bit lower and maybe go back to, uh, what's the last Thursday's low? Or, well, I, uh, uh, whatever. I got, Tim, right now on the NYSE, I only got $395 million. And, you know, normally when that happens, you know, yesterday we did, uh, let's see. We did eight ninety five. I mean, I think we'll probably do like seven fifty or something. But I, and you know, yeah, thirty yeah. minutes. I don't think we'll, we'll see. We'll, we know how this goes at the end of the. You know, the, yeah. That's where the volume comes in. So yeah. Right. So so anyhow, I usually get more uh, excited about the market when everything started blowing apart. And that oh, I agree. That, Listen, I agree. That, I'm not. <laughs> I definitely you know, agree. Yeah. Right. And it, and you get this doldrum, I guess. It rallies, can't go anywhere. Declines, can't go anywhere. Um, but, you know, the, the best trades come out of where the maximum fear is, and that's when VIX is rising. Yes. And it, actually, if you look at the bottom window, or second window up, that's the VIX, which is a little bit troubling here. You only got a 13.92. That suggests we're still in an uptrend. Yeah. But, the, you know, the, the, the bottom window, which is a 10-day trend, it's down to point nine five, so it's kind of a contradiction, you know. Normally, right. um, so so I don't know. There, there's no fear here whatsoever. No, there's not. So, there's not. There's and not. So, and is, you know, I, uh, uh, I'm waiting later. I, I think the October, you know, scenario is going to uh, fold out because I think the bigger trends up. I think before the year's out, we are going to break some new highs, but we need a trend. Uh, up around one, uh, a ten-day trend up around one point two. Yeah, to get enough power to get this thing going up to the upside. Again. We need a good scare first. So. Stay right there, folks. Tim Wood, Tom O'Brien. We're going to be coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now down twenty-six. Nasdaq's off one forty-five. S and P's down twenty-eight. Don't forget, folks. You can contact Tim every trading day. Has a great newsletter. It's Ord O R D dash Oracle dot com. Ord dash Oracle dot com. Tim and I come right back, folks. Welcome back, folks. It's Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 25. You get the Nasdaq off 142. S&Ps are off 27. We're talking with Tim Wood as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, Tim. So, what chart would you like to look at? Uh, this we're getting back to GDX here. Okay. Kind of, we'll, we'll look at the bigger picture, kind of, kind of the intermediate picture, and then we'll look at the short-term picture. Okay. Cool. So you can get a feeling of what's going on. Um, but chart number one. Uh, the second window down from the top is the uh, bullish percent index for the gold miners index slash GDX. So it's a ratio. Yep. And, and what I did was uh, take the RSI, actually the 10 period RSI works better. And when the 10 period RSI of this ratio gets below minus 25, you're looking at a bottom. And the last time the signal on the bottom was last August. And if you notice, last August, uh, that was a decent rally. So it fell back down again. It's, in a, it's currently in a buy signal right now. On it. This is an intermediate term uh, type scale. So this, these type of signals can last a year, a couple of years, sometimes three, four years. Uh, so it's on the bigger time frame. So it did pick out last year's low. Now it's picking out another low. So it's all, you know, it's yes. actually a year apart. Uh, so anyhow, we're still below. Um, uh, the RSI on the same period is fifteen point four two is put as we're as of today, and then below twenty five is a buy. So anyhow, it's on a buy signal. So that's a bigger time frame that predicts the market um, is making a low in this percent. It doesn't say you know we may have already seen a low a week ago, or we may be seeing it right now, or whatever. But we're in the vicinity of a making a bottom right now. Yeah. Well, you know it's bigger, inter you know it's interesting, window. Tim. Is that you know they've so, been boy. they've been slamming the gold contract. In fact, we had a call at the beginning of the show, but yet the GDX is hanging tough. 
you know? So it's pretty cool, you know? I mean, so, so that ratio is rising then. So gold's down and GDX holding steady. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that ratio is rising. So that's a bullish thing. So when XAU or GDX outperforms gold, that's what happens to bull markets. The, the issues will outperform the gold price. Right. And so you want you want that ratio to go up. So I'm not looking at gold right now. But anyhow, so anyhow, let's, let's flip to the second okay. second chart. And this is chart number two, yeah. uh, which is the. Uh, um, I anyhow, up. the bottom window uh, makes the most sense. Okay. And this is the 50-day average of GDX up-down volume percent. So it, is, uh, uh, it measures the volume up and down. So and the next one higher is GDX uh, advanced decline percent with the 50-day average. But I found over time, the up-down volume is more accurate than the advanced decline, so wherever that may be. Yeah. But anyhow, we, we, pass, we, we, we talked about this uh, particular indicator in the past. Oh, yeah. And when it, hits it, when it hits it below minus 20, which it did back in July, and did it for the previous July, and uh, did it before, it looks like about August or September, you know, the last three of them hit below minus 20. When, you know, when it hit below minus 20, the market flips sideways in general. Even though it kind of makes a little bit minor lows, the downtrend in general is over. And the, and the market can flip sideways for, you know, back in 2021, it flipped sideways for six months before the rally began. And in 2021, it flipped sideways for four months. We've been going sideways now for about three months, so we're due for about uh, a rally to begin. Yes. And for this rally to begin, you need this indicator to close above zero. Uh, when I sent this out to you this morning, it was minus two and change. So it's at zero, but not above zero. Now, we did get above zero last week, kind of came back down, but it's hovering right around that zero level. And what you're saying, you you're saying is you need it above zero, not at zero, correct? Uh, well, it's it's right now as we're put, it's below zero minus two. But no, no, I'm with you. I mean, but we want it above zero. You want it like a plus one or something, right? Yeah, you want yeah. plus one, right? right. And we did do right. that last week and didn't quite hold and fell yep. back down exactly a little okay. bit below zero. Right. So you're, you're kind of building momentum here a little bit. It's, it's hovering around zero, but the majority of the rally begins when that indicator is above zero, and all the blue stuff you see on the chart is when that indicator is above zero. Yes. So uh, sometimes you know the rally can. So this is like an intermediate term rally. So normally these rallies last, you know several months uh you know the last one we had only lasted probably a couple of weeks but majority of the time once they get going a lot of times you know if you go look back in in 2019 2020 it stayed above zero uh you know for at least six months there i should have gone back further so we're hovering right around where the impulse wave just about ready to start okay so and this is their midterm because this is a 50-day average yes okay we'll, we'll go to chart number three or oh. Yeah, chart number three now. Okay. Okay. So okay. now now you're into the short term time frames. Yeah. So this is um, um, the, the, this these type of signals can last uh, several weeks or uh, or even several months or even a couple of weeks, but this one is on a buy signal, and the bottom window is the uh, 18 day average of uh, GDX up down volume percent the next window up is the 18 day average of the advanced decline percent so the blue area is when both indicators are above zero and the uh, our pink area was what with uh, indicators are below uh, or excuse me this is minus 10 so I don't want to confuse anybody but the 18 day average of the up down volume advanced decline indicators need both be above minus 10, above minus 10, which they are today. One, the bottom one is, uh, looks like about plus two, and next one higher is uh, about plus one. So both are above, above minus 10. So this is saying right now that at least a short term rally is beginning, and the short term rally be, uh, keeps going up and holds, holds above minus 10, say for a week. If you go back to chart two, that most likely will flip that. 50-day average up above zero. Which is, I love how you break this down. I know, man, it's so cool, right? You get the short-term right. one going, the short-term one 
we'll get the the 50 day one going yeah yeah cool. yeah you, that's that's what i'm saying so it's kind of been going up and down on the short term here because you got pink you know blue pink you know blue yes. whatever so it's kind of it getting momentum but it's not holding up but if you also notice if over the last uh end of august to, to the current level the price of gdx is actually lower you see that i drew that red arrow that line there i see that yeah on the gdx okay if you look at the uh up down volume the bottom window and the next window up they're making higher highs both of them yes so, so that's telling you the the internals of the the, the up down volume advanced client indicators are stronger than what the price is project or the price is saying on gdx right Right. So you got a positive urges going on here. So we may stay above in the blue area um, longer because we've got a positive urges, and we may, uh, you know, if we can hold above, you know, the minus ten area for another few days, most likely chart number three will will get above uh, zero and stay above zero. Yeah, that's what I'm well, saying. But, know, it, but and, the short term chart needs to, to stay above the minus 10 area yeah if we go right back to the gold contract today it's interesting man they jammed it down to 1929 yeah it's at 1936 still down 11 bucks but the gdx you know the bottom line it's still green so this is the xau and the hui so listen yeah. tim i love your breakdowns man you have a great couple days safe one because i'm going to be talking to you on thursday man all right see you then thank, thank you. you man stay right there folks we'll come right back